Okay, we're back. Let's go. Some quick, like, 10 minute eyes or something. Actually, usually like doing these kind of clip studio art or some equivalent. Um, you can pick a palette, whatever color palette you want the eyes to be. Um, and usually you can Google these. There's like a, a website where you can, you know, pick your own color palette. Or uh, people like me who have no imagination. I think it's like coolers.com or something. And that's where I'm about to get these. And like I did before, you can just import the palette directly. Um, it's easier to get the colors instead of typing in their codes or something. Here it is. It's for lazy people. Or smart people, I don't know. That's how you look at it. Um, just make sure you label which is what layer. So I'm gonna rename this ruler palette. <laughs> And then another layer will actually draw it. So pick the darkest color. If you don't have a, if you just have an array of like lighter colors, then pick the one closest to, you know, black uh, from that color. So like if you have it here, this is your color, go all the way down here and that'll be like that color and like a darker chalk. There's a dark one here, so. And then this is for the edges all around. So you're going to pick a brush. Actually, you should be the base and easy way of doing this. I'm going to reduce the opacity on this so we can see where it's, where the original eyes are. Whatever, and then we'll just get like the the overall shape. It's not gonna be perfect. That's why I recommend like something like Clip Studio Art to do this. Um, so you don't like go over the, the edge and it'll give you something like slightly more percent, like way more percent. It's gonna say slightly, but it's a bit better. Alright, there we go. Let's see how it looks. Alright, there we go. And now everything that we did was for nothing because we're gonna erase. Everything except the edges. <laughs> Literally. This music that's playing is brought to you by Twitch <laughs> and their amazing knack for DMCA. And even when you're just humming. Yeah, so try to get it to look like about the same. It's fine if they're not exactly the same, but here we go. And so this will be your outer layer, so you can rename it. Outer dark. Oops. Outer dark. Uh, then you're going to make another layer, and with the same exact color, you are going to... Maybe I didn't need to erase it. Okay. Then take your eraser again. Put in a big enough thing. And you're just gonna erase it towards. I don't know if you guys see that circle. There's an inner circle for the outline. And just about this. Actually, maybe we can go a little high. Yeah, that's fine. Perf. Rename this. Pupil. And make another layer. This one should be under all of those. So uh, click the arrow down. I was trying to like physically drag it, that does not work. And this will be a uh, so here. You can pick whichever of these colors you want. I think I'm gonna go for this one. It's blue color because it looks cool. 
but uh, you can make one. I different than the other. The important is that you just have something dark on top. See that. And all we're gonna do with this one is. Here are some basic eyes, and you can add another layer if you want to have more like bubbly type eyes. And then you can clear up the layers. So I think that's layer two. I cannot make a straight line on a mouse for the life of me. Well, here you go, some basic eyes, and you can use, since there's like some colors we can use in the cup, and the, in the palette. Actually, it's just one color, but you can choose this one, and then go to your people dark layer, or any of the higher layers, and then just draw like a little dot, and this could serve as like a highlight. And then you can go obviously to the eye highlight part, um, and erase this. And you can like draw your own. Yep. There you go, some basic eyes.